India has expressed deep concern over the arrest of Hindu leader Krishna Das Prabhu, associated with ISKCON, in Bangladesh. Prabhu, who has been leading rallies demanding security for Hindus, was arrested in Dhaka's main airport on Monday while traveling to Chattagram in southeastern Bangladesh. The Ministry of External Affairs urged charges against a religious leader presenting legitimate demands through peaceful gatherings. The Similat Sanadin Jagran Jad is advocating for minority rights and security in Bangladesh, calling for the establishment of a special tribunal for swift trials in cases of minority persecution. The majority of the population is Muslim, with a small percentage of indigenous groups. The country has experienced documented violence against minority communities due to their religion, language, and culture. The proposed demands include compensation and rehabilitation for victims. Bangladesh's constitution protects religious freedom, but attacks on religious and ethnic minorities persist. Despite the government's public support, attacks on religious minorities remain a problem. The situation has worsened since the fall of the Hasina government in August 2024, which collapsed the country's law and order. The enactment of a minority protection law aims to ensure security and rights for minority communities, but the current situation remains severe, indicating a desire for legal protections under specific laws. Bangladesh's Ministry of Religious Affairs is not addressing the specific needs and issues of minority groups outside the faith spectrum. The eight-point demand calls for the creation of a Hindu foundation to address these needs. The Hindu Welfare Trust, established in 1983, is a government entity controlled by the government in power. The demand for a foundation suggests that control of the institution would be in the hands of private Hindus, operating without government interference. Similar upgrades for the Buddhist and Christian welfare trusts would be necessary for other minority groups. Bangladesh has been a victim of attacks against Hindu temples and other minority faiths, with little legal recourse for minorities. The Vested Property Act 1974 is a long-running and damaging law that has been used to confiscate properties belonging to migrated Hindus from Pakistan to India. The law has been applied arbitrarily and repeatedly to land owned by various minority groups, with property often physically seized by local individuals, often affiliated with powerful politicians or landowners. Some cases remain on court dockets for decades, turning minority litigants into landless paupers. Bangladesh has modernized educational institutions to accommodate minority religious practices, including prayer rooms for Muslim students and modernization of Sanskrit and Pali education boards. However, the demand for increased resources is heightened.